Hello everyone, greetings from TCC. In this playlist, we'll be covering practicals of security and computing, which is the part of a syllabus of TYBSCIT of University of Mumbai in semester six. So we'll be covering all the practicals of security and computing here. So now let's start with the practical number one. That this packet tracer configures Cisco router for syslog, NTP and SSH operations. And this is the configuration they have given. We need three routers, two servers, one switch for two servers and one switch for one PC on the right hand side, you all can see. And accordingly, we'll define the network. So now let's begin. So here we are, the blank slate. Let's have the router first, R1, R2 and R3. Okay, give it a proper name. Consider as a best practice. So display name I'm changing R1 R2 and R3 we just have changed the display name but not the router name still the host name of the router it's still router you, you all can see here so once you click on the R1 go to the config tab you will see the host name router so please change it to R1 give a proper name I'm giving it R1 as same as display name only close it Similar for R2, go to config tab, host name R2. There is no save button, you just have to close the window. Same for R3. Config, R3. As we saw in the configuration, we need to have a serial connection between these three routers. Here the connection options are given. You can click on the connections and here all the connection types are given. Once you will place mouse, it will give you the option the which type of wire it is this is console this is copper straight through this is copper crossover and we want to have a serial DTE connection between these three routers if you choose this route connection and if you try to connect it will not able to because there is a gigabit internet ports are there but not the serial ports are there so we have to embed the serial ports first and how to do that okay Let's click router R1. Okay, go to the physical tab. Zoom in. You can see that there is a switch on switch off button is there for router. So just switch it off for a while and put this HWIC2T. There are serial ports are there. There are, you will get two serial ports. Okay, to have a connection between the router. Remember this HWIC slash 2T. This is the module. Okay, you just have to place it and then again switch on the router you have to do this similarly for r2 and r3 also r2 once again have a look go to physical tab switch off the router place hwic2t module serial ports are there you all can see and again switch it on same for r3 switch off place the module switch on done now if you choose this wire connection now serial DTE it will give you the option that I want it to connect to the interface serial 0102 serial 010 here and similarly I want to have a same connection from router R2 from zero serial 011 to serial 011 okay so this interface are common on this side and interface numbers are common on this side here it is 010 here it is 011 now moving on we want switches okay so go to the switches option you all can see after connecting like after selecting network devices here you have to come to the switch select 2960 one one here and one more here okay we need switches right and two servers one here and one more here and there is no specification has been given of the connection between router and the server one PC we want here so let's have a connection here automatically if you choose the first time uh, first option you can see they automatically choose the connection type so you just have to select this connect this to switch similarly this one to this switch and then finally switch to router let's complete the connection for this end also and done 
okay as we saw in this practical we have to cover three things let's declare this server as ntp server we'll see what does ntp stands for and what is the use of ntp and one more server for syslog syslog server so i'm giving a proper name so this server is ntp server this server is syslog server and uh, we want to make this pc ssh client because we'll also practicing the ssh protocol here so this pc will act as a ssh client and uh, also this router will act as a ssh server so i'm just giving a name i'm not at all configuring anything i'm just changing the display name so that i get the complete idea what i'm supposed to do here ssh server so three things we have to establish okay three things we have to perform one for ssh protocol ntp and then syslog three things we have to perform before we actually jump to the practical okay the first thing first is like you have to configure configure the networks that means give ip address to every machine looking at this configuration the first thing like always understand and analyze the like how many networks are there after configuring or after placing all the components after doing connection you just have to understand the like how many networks are there so it's very easy to find out the like how many networks are there actually routers build network routers builds the network so the number of lines coming out from the router okay gives the network so network gets born so for your reference what i'll be doing i'll be drawing ellipse here so that i'll teach you like how many networks are there so one network is this this area this area is one network coming out link coming out from the router r1 this is one network similarly we have got one more network which is common between r1 and r2 one more network we have between r2 and r3 and the last network we have on this side of the r3 router this one so in total there are four networks we have to configure them accordingly it is also considered as a best practice that you give banner you know label so let's label let's let's give a network address to every network here so we have four networks so let's decide and what they have asked for so i'll go with the same one so now let's decide and what they have asked for the network will give a network address here so that we'll get a proper indication so let's have 192.168.1.0 as a network address for this network and uh, for this second network you can again place banner here, here and give it a name 10.1.1.0 that's the first address in the network never gets assigned to the machine you all remember right and for this network 10.2.2.0 so this is the third network and the finally the fourth network we have here 192.168.3.0 so now i have just mentioned the network addresses for my better understanding you all can see four networks four network addresses and accordingly i'll configure every device with their ip address so now let's jump to this network number 1 the network address is 1.0 so let's go to the router first click on config then figure it out like which particular interface you have to configure so there are interface gigabit ethernet 00 gigabit ethernet 01 serial 010 serial 011 we are configuring network on this side so we just have to figure out like which interface is this so you just have to place the mouse and it will give you the indication you all can see that this gigabit ethernet 0/0 okay so again click on router go to gigabit ethernet 0/0 and inside config tab assign the ip address 192.168.1.1 very next address after the network address 
ओके सबनेट मास ऑटोमेटिकली गेट एंटर बिकॉज वन नाइनटी टू दैट मीन्स इट बिलोंग्स टू क्लास सी एंड क्लास सी नेटवर्क मास इज टू फिफ्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी फाइव जीरो विल नॉट डिस्कस दैट पार्ट हियर एंड विल जस्ट ट्राई टू अवॉइड द कन्फ्यूजन सो लेट इट बी द सबनेट मास टू फिफ्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी फाइव जीरो फॉर ऑल द नेटवर्क विल डू इट एंड जस्ट स्विच इट ऑन ओके पोर्ट स्टेटस इज ऑन नाउ क्लोज इट यू कैन सी द ग्रीन लाइट ग्रीन लाइट इज ब्लिंगिंग हियर Now let's go to the NTP server. This this one has been assigned to this router. Go to NTP server. Go to desktop. Go to IP configuration. The, now one is gone, so you have to give one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point two. One is gone. Subnet mask. Now default gateway. That means you all know the gateway, like from where the packets will come and packet will go. That's the router. You all can see the configuration. That's the router, and we just have just define and configure the router IP address. So you just have to mention the same router IP address. That one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point one will be the default gateway, and then close. Similarly, we have to do it for syslog server. Click on it. Go to desktop. IP configuration. Now zero is network address. One is for the router. Two is for NTP server. Now. It will be three one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point three subnet mask and similarly we have to mention the default gateway here one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point one the IP address of the router done so now this network is actually ready you can drop the PDUs from one machine to another machine or even you can ping it okay I'll just show you the how to ping the machines from one machine to another machine. So go to command prompt, go to NTP server, click on desktop, go to command prompt, and type ping. Let's ping the router from the server. One ninety two point one sixty eight point one point one. That was the IP address of the router, and we are getting the reply. That means that network configuration is almost, almost nay, not almost. It is ready. Let's close this. Now let's jump to the network number two. The network address is. 10.1.1.0 which is the first address in the network and i am placing the mouse so that i will come to know which are the interfaces that is serial 010 on both the end let's click on the router r1 again go to config go to serial 010 now now give it a ip address so you all know now network address have been assigned 10.1.1.0 so give a next ip address that is 10.1.1.1 Okay, subnet mask. It will take by default because the first octet says number ten, according to the classful addressing concept. Ten belongs to class A address, and class A address has a subnet mask of two fifty five zero zero zero. But we do also have the concept of class less addressing. We'll not just compare here the classful and classless. We'll not dive into that part. But I let me tell you. You can avoid the confusion and have a subnet mask throughout common. You can do that. So I'm just maintaining the subnet mask all over the configuration networks as same, like same. In this network was also like subnet mask for two fifty five two fifty five zero. In this network also I'm doing the same thing purposely. Okay. Now let make it switch on. Close. Now this interface have been configured for the router R one. I have to configure this interface R two for this network. So click on R two. Now you all know that the IP address one is gone. You have to take the next IP address, that is ten point one point one point two. Subnet mask. If you forget to change the subnet mask here, then there will be no like there will be problem in connection. So make sure you mention subnet mask properly. Even it it is okay if you don't change it. Even if it is okay, like if you keep it two fifty five zero zero zero, but if you have got four to five networks, then it becomes difficult to remember that like what was the subnet mask for every particular network. So it's better that like you keep the subnet mask same throughout, and that's what I'm doing here. Click on on and done. You can see the green light. Now this network has been configured. Let's do it for this network also. The network address was ten point two point two point zero, and the interfaces are zero one one on both the side. Let's go to the R two. 
जीरो वन वन आई पी एड्रेस टेन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट वन द फर्स्ट एड्रेस आई एम गिविंग एंड यू कैन सी दबनेट मास नाउ इट इज टेकिंग बाई डिफॉल्ट टू फिफ्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी फाइव जीरो इट्स ओके फॉर मी ओके ऑन क्लोज लेट्स कॉन्फिगर दिस राउटर दैट इज इंटरफेस जीरो वन वन आई पी एड्रेस टेन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट टू वन इज गॉन दैट्स वाई एम टेकिंग टू ओके फॉर दिस नेटवर्क सबनेट मास when it is not getting reflected make sure you make the changes okay close and you can see the green light so now only one network is remaining on the right hand side that was the network address for it 192.168.3.0 let's give the first address to the router first so router interfaces this interface is gigabit 0/0 when i'm placing the mouse i'm getting the indication here so click on it gigabit 0/0 IP address 192.168.3.1. No problem in subnet mask. Click OK. On. Close it. Go to PC. Desktop. IP configuration. For server and PC, we just have to go to the desktop. Okay. Desktop. Inside desktop, there is IP configuration option. So now 192.168.3.2 this time, right? Because one is gone. One is gone. Subnet mask and default gateway for that particular PC for that particular network is one ninety two point one sixty eight point three point one. That's the router address. We just have configured right this router and then close. So finally, the configurations totally completely is ready. Okay, for all the four networks. I've placed three routers, two servers, two switches, and one PC, and defined four different networks with different IP addresses. This is the practical half we done. Now we'll proceed for the next half. That's all, guys, from this video. If you really like this video, press like button and do subscribe to our channel. If any queries or suggestions, do comment below. For more such updates, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.